And we're going to move ahead to the WAP Plus, which is the wireless access point that you can use to, wire, to connect your cameras wirelessly to your Wi-Fi network, assuming your router does not have a WPS button. Uh, it is, this is a secure way to uh, enroll your cameras with your network. And uh, it's a very small little unit that will just sit beside your router. So we're going to show you uh, how, to, how to use this and how to pair the cameras to it. So that will be our next video here. We're going to open up the WAP Plus. So we have an Ethernet cable in here. We have the transformer that's going to connect to the back side of your WAP and power it. So this is the Honeywell, this is the Honeywell WAP. There's two antennas on the back side of it. We can screw on the included the included antennas here. This will give you better range out to the cameras, especially for the outdoors. If you know if you have any uh, metal structures or anything that would impede on RF signal or the Wi-Fi signal, and straighten these out. And yeah, so this is uh, we got our antennas on here for good Wi-Fi access. The Ethernet cable we would use to plug into to the router. We want to go into a LAN port on the router, so an outgoing port. Now, the key here is to use the yellow WAN port. That's the incoming feed to the WAP, OK? So this is, uh, this is a very important. If you use one of these other, these other ports here, it's going to do nothing. It won't feed internet to this. The incoming ethernet feed is going to be on this yellow port. So you would just plug in to that. Take one of take the other end of the cable here and plug right into your router into one of the outgoing uh, LAN ports, and then you can use these to plug cameras in, uh, or you can wirelessly connect to them by using the WPS button on the front of the unit. You would press and hold this button for three full seconds, and it would put this WAP into enrollment mode. When you're in enrollment mode, you have to get over to the camera within the first minute and press and release the WPS button on that camera. Now, we showed you in the other videos where the WPS button's located. So basically, you just got to get this thing in enrollment mode. And once it's in that mode, you then are going to go over to the camera and press that WPS button. Be patient. Give it a few minutes. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to enroll in the network. Once it's enrolled, then you can check the video feed on Total Connect. Uh, if you haven't sent over your MAC addresses to the cameras, you can find the MAC, the MACs listed on the back side of your cameras, and you can basically send those over to your AlarmNet dealer who sets you up with the Total Connect service. If you don't have service, um, you, can, uh, you can check out uh, alarmgrid.com for video monitoring as well. And the, the Macs are listed on the, on the sticker. This is not to be confused with the Mac address that your router may assign this unit after it's on your network. So the, the terminology is a little confusing, but Honeywell uses the term Mac for a unique identifier of this specific camera, um, not the, necessarily the Mac assigned to it by your router after it acquires an IP. Uh, so just basically take a snapshot of these before you install them. And you can keep them handy so that when your you know, alarm company asks for them, you can just email them over or, or, you know, or call them in. Uh, once those are given in and you've enrolled them using your WAP Plus uh, or hardwired them, then you should be able to see your cameras in the video section on Total Connect. Now, you can also view these cameras on your local Lynx Touch panel, your Honeywell Lynx Touch, if you have a L5100 Wi-Fi module. That module uh, would just install inside of the Lynx panel. We have a couple right behind me here. And uh, once, once you have the Wi-Fi uh, enrolled to the Lynx panel, you can then scan 
uh, using the video camera button on, and at the home screen, at the main menu. And you'll actually be able to pull in your cameras, assuming that they are on the same network. Um, and then you'll be able to view video right there from the screen if you like as well. Uh, so that's how the, w the WAP Plus works. Uh, the IP cam series of, of cameras here that we have are great, especially if you're a Total Connect customer. They're going to offer you the motion detection, video recording. Uh, I don't know if we got into the cloud storage, but the cameras, all, all four of these cameras, do support cloud storage. So they'll upload uh, eight second video clips to AlarmNet and they'll also be stored on your Total Connect account. You can set up alerts uh, based on when videos are captured. Uh, you can also you know, go into your event log and download those video, those video clips uh, or snapshots uh, and, and, and view those at any time. You can also you know, download them and send them to authorities in the event that you ever did have a break-in or you needed to send video clips to um, any sort of you know, uh, authority that would need that for, for some sort of intrusion. Um, so this is all we need to discuss here for today for the IP cam suite of cameras. And if you have any further questions for us on AlarmNet video, uh, whether it be installation or configuration with your network uh, or setting up Total Connect video plans, uh, you can email us at support at alarmgrid.com and please subscribe to our channel.